This tutorial illustrates how to maintain the proper load on the x80-IO power supplied when building an architecture with the M580-M340 PLC rack. After you've selected and added all the modules that you need for your architecture, it is always a good idea to check the power consumption of the design. To do that, double-click on the PLC bus in the project browser under Configuration to open the PLC bus. Then right-click on the power supply and select Power Supply and I.O. Budget. You will see a bar chart consists of many bars. The first bar depicts the total power of the power supply. The 3.3V bar represents the consumption on the 3.3V bus. The 24VR bar represents the consumption on the 24V bus of the power supply. Sometimes you might see additional bar that shows 24V. There are some modules that requires external power supply, the system picks that up as well. Furthermore, you can also identify the budget of any other module on the rack by right-click and select power supply and I.O. budget for that particular module. The benefits of doing that is, it gives you a representation of which bus line that the current module is sourcing from, as well as the amount of power the module is consuming from the power supply. As you can see here, it shows the total power and the module is currently sourcing from these two buses. If everything is operating as normal you will see the bars are going to be green. But as you go over the recommended threshold of the power supply or if you exceed its limit of capacity, you will see the color for that particular bar change to red. That usually indicates you either need to reduce the amount of modules that you have in the rack or upsize your power supply to a bigger power supply with a higher capacity. It's always a good idea to keep your architecture power consumption well below the 100% threshold. That way if there is any inrush current or anything like that the power supply will not be overstressed. And this also prolong and help with the lifespan of the unit as well. That is all for this presentation. Thank you for watching.